Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo and today is the 30th of April 2024. Um, the time is 12.56 p.m. So um, let's start today here with the one hour chart. This is where I have my weekly levels. So let me just point out that um, this is value area high right here on the weekly which is at 5142.25. So as you can see, I have these notes here on my one hour chart. Rejection of this area is a short continuation for consolidation true value area, right? So what I mean by that is the value area is, is between the value area high and the value area low, which I don't have on my chart right now. Let me just bring that into focus, All right? Right, so if we get a rejection here, we don't, and obviously I have this, this note here as well, breakout for uptrend continuation. This is above this weekly value, this monthly value area low, right? So the month is coming to an end, and if the bulls want to continue with um, seeking new value, or at least maintaining the value that they established last month, they had to be above this area of 51, 51, 25, right? So this was the week to actually do that. They had to um, reclaim those levels or these levels here to get back into last month's value. So they didn't do that. And all week since we've opened, we got this rejection here. The first, um, the first session Monday, we got this consolidation just below this monthly value area low which is this green line, 51, 51, 25. And then we continued here through the ETH. And as we opened, we continue to break down value area high on the weekly, which is at 51, 42, 25, right? So we lost that around just before nine o'clock. And this continued into the, the open, right? The RTH. So we got down here to um, the weekly POC level. So we already tested that. We were supposed to get some bullish action into last month's value area. That didn't happen. Got the rejection of value area high on the weekly. Now we're breaking down um, the, the puck level, which is a significant level, seeing that there's, there's a lot of transactions here from last week. And we just shoot through that, right? So initiative sellers are taking control here. And this is how I got this one and done trade. And as you can see, I have this this um, golden top zone. Um, hold on. Right, so I have this golden top zone here marked out, right? So what this is, is, let me just make this bigger. Right, so you can see the blue line right here. That's weekly central pivot at 1594.75. And this green line right here is Camarilla S3 at 1592.86. And this is also this is also a long term um, buying climax on the monthly. This is a, a like a Wyckoff TV level. So it was a previous buying climax. And as you can see, it also comes into play um, during these sessions, right? So it's not like it's 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 on the monthly chart and it doesn't hold any significance. It holds a lot of significance, right? So all of these are correlating here to make this golden top zone. As as you can see, we came right back to this level. So all these things being considered, this is the weekly um weekly view up as well. So you see we're getting buying at this level, right? So maybe we'll get like some consolidation around this level, a little breakdown, retest, something like that. All right, so let's go down to the five minute chart where I actually took the trade. All right, so let me just clear off things from the chart and bring them back in as when I need them, if I need them. All right, so all we have here is the, and I don't have these in the right place. Let me see, hold on one second. All right, so overnight low would be here. Let's put this on, overnight mid would be here at 51 to the 450. 
and overnight high would be here. Let me just make sure. Right, so this is overnight high right here. Right. All right, so let's go over the landscape here of how it traded from the from the open. So at the open, we opened here around value area low on the daily, got up to the central pivot at 51.40. Let me just use the arrows. So value area low is right here, this green line, 51.30. Dip below a little bit, got some buyers, retested it, and look like we're heading bullish, right? So we went up to central pivot, started to get that rejection at 51.40, um, consolidated, came back down, retested value area low, pushed back up, couldn't get to the central pivot, started to cascade down, right? So we lost value area low with significant selling we had a little retest right here of this level you can see that wick right there we retested that breakdown level right there started to move lower broke the overnight low actually let me move this to here right so broke down overnight low and then started to consolidate, right? So this is one of the principles I look at when um, when I'm trading. I use these Wyckoff theories and stuff like that, right? So now the first um, the first Wyckoff theory was here, right? We got this breakdown, right? We got that secondary, I mean um, that um, selling climax. Then we got that automatic rally, and then we got another breakdown, right? so now we're getting a continuation of this downtrend so we're looking for a sustained automatic rally right now when it breaks again i'm either looking for it to do like a this could be a shakeout here and when i say a shakeout a shakeout it means that it's going to do like a v reversal here and push back up bullish right now what we didn't get that we got this consolidation right here right a little dip below and we didn't really get an automatic rally, right? Like this right here, right? So this is showing significant weakness where we didn't get an automatic rally off of this um, selling climax, right? So this, this area, this bullishness right here is extremely weak. So that's why I started to look at this level right here for a breakdown, right? So let me just throw on some stuff here. Let's throw on the VWAP bands and um, throw on the Camarillas, right? So now you can see here, this is one of my strategies where I keep talking about like this um, first lower deviation band. So if we're getting an automatic rally, right? Usually we're going to get something like, or if we're going to get a reversal, which I call the bowling green, right? You're going to get this consolidation below the second upper deviation above that, right? You're going to move sideways above the second lower deviation. You're going to start to regain the first lower deviation. And then you're going to shoot up to like VWAP and try and test the first um, upper deviation at this level, right? So now that we see that, now that we see that's not happening, we're getting a failure here. And I was telling you about like um, the weakness of this bullish action, right? Signifying that that there's not going to be like an automatic rally. There's going to be a failure and continuation lower. So this was floor pivot S1. So I decided to take any shorts below this, this floor pivot. So if we lose this floor pivot again, plus we're losing this first lower deviation, that's when I went short two contracts right there. At um, let's see, my entry was 5107 over here, but on my execution platform it was higher. I think it was like 5109, right? So you can see the setup. We're taking this down to um, 
let's see, I was trailing my stop, but I wanted to get to 50.92.25, which was S3. Now, as you can see, we barely got just one tick above that, right? We got to 50.92.50, but my trailing stop took me out on, on this right here, right? So this pullback took me out. So let's go to my um, trading platform. This is my PA account here. So first entry was 5109.50. Second entry was 5107.75. And this break kind of happened. Um, it happened fast. So I didn't really get to add more than two, two mini contracts right there. So that was the profit on the day. Right? Nothing too crazy. But nice and decent for a PA account. Um, good risk management. And I have this trailing stop that I set up here. And the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to just explain how I do these um, these trailing stops, right? And break down how um, how you can do that on Ninja Trader. We got some work going on outside, so pardon the noise in the background. And this is my next evaluation account that I'm working on. So this one got 1250 so took 16 cons right here added another 16 cons right here so 5109 5107 stopped out here at 5100 and 5101 right so i gotta make some adjustments here Actually, I'm going to have to fix that because that's not the one I want. All right, y'all. So that's my trade setups and my, my trade recap for today. It was uh, first lower deviation rejection right there. Um, S1 breakdown to um, basically trailed it as we pull back here on this 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 wick candle right here. Trailing like four, four points or something like that. So when it came back, it stopped me out. Was trying to get to camera. I mean, I'm um, floor pivot S3, but didn't didn't survive the pullback. All right, y'all. So it's Malak Shalomo. Y'all trade safe and stay blessed.